What is a multi-band radio? You may have seen the photo of a police officer in a squad car sitting next to several mobile or portable radios. Each radio gives access to a different radio network or frequency band. If this picture could speak, it might say, why isn't there a single radio that can replace all of these? Technology has answered this question with the development of multiband radios. Many public safety radios today are single band devices. They've been designed and tuned to operate in just one of the following specific frequency bands. It is not uncommon for a public safety agency to run networks in two or three of these bands. For example, UHF, which has better in-building coverage, plus VHF, which has better range, or VHF plus UHF plus 700-800 MHz. This means that officers who require access to each network may need to be equipped with two or three appropriate radios, one for each network. Alternatively, they can have a single multi-band radio capable of operating in two or more frequency bands, all in the same unit. Multi-band radios available in the market today typically cover three bands, VHF, UHF, and 700-800 MHz. Some radios in the market are misleadingly described as all band, when in reality, they operate it just in several selected bands. Many agencies find that two frequency bands are all they ever need, so they refer to their multi-band radios as dual band. Australian law enforcement, for instance, is restricted to VHF and UHF bands. A multi-band radio can transmit and receive calls on any one of the available frequency bands. An important difference between a single band radio and its multi-band counterpart lies in the antenna you need to support the ability of the radio to transmit and receive. The reason is obvious once you think about it. Because a VHF UHF multi-band portable must handle both longer wavelength VHF signals as well as shorter wavelength UHF operation, its antenna will need to be longer than the standard UHF antenna. The same considerations apply to other bands, such as 700-800 MHz. The size of the antenna should be directly proportional to the wavelength of the signal transmitted or received. Selecting the right antenna for your multiband radio is therefore critical for its performance. Getting it wrong may mean struggling with a radio that does not work as intended. Whereas a multiband radio supports more than one frequency band, a multimode radio can mean either, and this is type 1, a radio that supports several operating modes of the same radio technology such as a P25 radio that supports analog, P25 conventional, P25 phase 1 trunking, and P25 phase 2 trunking. Or multi-mode can mean, and this is type 2, a radio that supports two or more different radio technologies, such as DMR and P25, in the same radio. Type 1 multi-mode is becoming a standard offering in both single-band and multi-band radios. In contrast, Type 2 multimode is not yet widely supported, apart from some mobile radio models that package two separate radios into the same chassis. Related to multiband operation is crossband operation. Crossband can mean that a call received on one frequency band, for example VHF, is automatically repeated or transmitted on another band such as UHF. Another meaning of crossband is dual transmit functionality, whereby the radio can simultaneously transmit on two frequencies. Crossband operation is a specialist capability, not commonly found in most multiband radios. Crossband applications require careful consideration and design and are supported by some radio vendors such as Tate with custom configurations and by providers of vehicular repeater products such as Pyramid Communications. Scanning. Whether single band or multi band, a radio can be programmed to automatically scan each channel in turn looking for traffic. When activity is detected, the radio locks onto that channel and diverts its audio to the radio speaker. 
Both kinds of radio support a variety of scanning operations. For example, priority scanning, backroom scanning, talk group scanning, etc. Both allow the scan list of channels to be type 1 multimode. That is, any mixture of analog P25 conventional, P25 phase 1 trunking, or P25 phase 2 trunking. But where scanning on multiband radios differs is that scanning can cross frequency bands. The scan list can include channels from any band the radio supports. For example, an agency that has a rural VHF system, as well as an urban UHF system, can scan channels from both by the same radio. This capability gives multiband radios enormous operational flexibility. Roaming. What about operating across systems belonging to different agencies, which may need to share communications when an incident arises? For instance, fire, law enforcement, and EMS responding to a major traffic accident. In an emergency, radio users need the ability to collaborate by moving seamlessly from the operational area of one system to the operational area of another system, without changing the operating identities, individual or group, of the radios. Interoperation across different systems, called roaming, is made a great deal easier with multiband, since there's no longer a need to share bands or frequencies to interoperate. Of course, roaming doesn't happen by magic, so let's look at this in a little more detail. There's a great deal of preliminary work that needs to be done once system owners agree to cooperate. Systems must be configured to identify and authenticate each other and their respective pools of radio units. And radios must be programmed to allow managed access, including scanning access, to neighboring systems. Nevertheless, no extra infrastructure is required to enable connection to multiple agencies and to allow roaming on their networks in any band. Multiband just makes this easier. The key is to set up a network of systems that want to interconnect. Each such system is fully independent, administers itself, and has its own ID. For the purposes of interoperation, however, they are all identified as belonging to the same wide area network. This is analogous to the law enforcement agencies of county that are separate, but are identified as belonging to the same county. The simplest case is the agency that has a rural VHF system as well as an urban UHF system. The two systems are distinguished by their system ID. Roaming across these systems is a must for officers of this agency. Now, by identifying both the rural and the urban systems as belonging to the same wide area network, roaming is straightforward. So for roaming to work without additional infrastructure equipment, it doesn't matter if these systems belong to the same agency or to different agencies. The essential feature is that they share the same wide area communications ID. We've looked at some of the obvious benefits of multiband. Reduction in the number of portables you may need to carry, enhanced scanning, easier roaming, and widening interoperability. I'd like to finish by mentioning a few multiband ideas that may be less obvious. A direct mode call is directly radio to radio without passing through a network. Using the radio's multiband capability in combination with roaming and type 1 multimode, you can make off network direct mode calls in an incident area using another agency's frequency band. If your single band network has run out of spectrum and channel capacity, but no more spectrum is available in that band, you could add channels from a new band and use a multi-band portable to communicate with radios on either your new or your existing channels. If you're migrating your entire system to a new band, with multi-band you can access both your old channels and new channels during the rollout and gradually transition to the new network, thus smoothing out the migration process. Adding some backup channels in a different band can help to guarantee continuity of critical communications in the event of a network failure impacting your standard channels. A multi-band radio can seamlessly switch to the backup channels and scan as required until the network is fully restored.
These are just a few of the novel ideas that spring to mind when considering multiband.